Hi, Scorpio. Welcome back. So, Scorpio, this is going to be your tarot reading, and we're going to go ahead and get straight into it. So, Scorpio, when I was meditating on the collective energy, I was getting a lot of messages around relationships, relationship dynamics, change, possible tower moments, stuff of that nature, right? Um, so, I feel like a lot of the collective Scorpio energy is all about uh, relationship dynamics and things moving around in that arena for you. So you might be noticing that in your own life, Scorpio, or you might be observing that in the people that are connected to you. They may be going through some relationship changes. You might be actually helping someone out if they are, or vice versa. Someone might be trying to help you out. But I get like a sense of uh, community as well around the Scorpio, okay? So and then I also got messages around connectivity. So everything's connected, right? We're all connected to each other. We're all part of the same source, the same collective. And you might become like hyper aware of that <laughs> during this time frame of how connected we all really, really are at the end of the day, right? Um, so that could be showing up in kind of some weird and bizarre ways. You never know. Um, so let's get into the tarot and see where this is headed for you, Scorpio. And uh, I have a little special guest here in my background. If you see my little Daisy Dizzle moving around, <laughs> she's going to hang out with us today. So, yeah, Scorpio, let's get into it and see what we have coming in for you. Woo so you have two cards that wanted to pop out, the second house and the card of squares and challenges. So there could be some challenges around uh, relationship dynamics, clearly, but also this could be around your material world, your assets, the dividing of assets for those of you who might be going through separations or divorces. Things could feel like a little bit frustrating just kind of in general, even if you're not going through that right now. Um, you know, you might feel like you're needing to like money is tight for a few of you or that you have to make some sort of sacrifice when it comes to the second house of assets or your material world. Um, yeah, so it, it feels to me like a little bit of pressure, but this energy is meant to kind of reorient you um, to what's important to you, right? And it's not so much about the things at all, is it, Scorpio? And you know this better than any zodiac sign. It's about the people in your life and the love that you have in your life. Um, and love really, really does, is the answer. I know, like some people are like, well, love isn't going to fix this debt problem. But honestly, the more you love yourself and the more you love others, the universe and God tends to send you people that actually will help with that <laughs> and solutions that will help with that. So at the end of the day, really, it is love is the answer. Um, some of you maybe need to be reminded of that. Say if you've gotten into this space of like feeling frustrated or irritated or even taking it out on yourself or others, this is a period of time where universe is asking you to, okay, step back because that's not coming from a loving space and it's not going to get you the results that you want. It's just going to further perpetuate the situation and attract more frustration to you. So it's almost like you have to find a way, Scorpio, to kind of get into the safe space or this bubble where you can remind yourself of who you really are and get centered again and, and then come from a space of love, uh, both loving yourself, but also trying to be loving towards others. And that is like the sweet spot, right? Like that is what brings in um, the solution for you because things really do want to work out for you. And a lot of times when challenges are presented to us, it is not really so much as a, of a challenge as we think. It's more so our perception of the situation that creates that challenging energy or that tension, right? Whereas if we could perceive it as, okay, wow, I'm growing from this. I know the universe is going to send me a, a solution or something that's going to work for me. And so I can work with this you know, work with whatever I have in this moment and make the best of it. And then so by me making the best of it, then, you know, better things to come. So they're saying, uh, make law of attraction your friend. It's not your enemy. <laughs> All right. So let's get into it and see. Actually, oops, I want to pull an angel card. And I just noticed the tower at the bottom of the deck. Scorpio energy here. Also Taurus energy here for some of you. 
So let's see what else you have coming through here, Scorpio. Yeah, the Hierophant, which is talking about relationships and commitments, but it's also talking about traditions and beliefs. All right, so some of you have some self-limiting beliefs when it comes to assets or how money comes to you or flows to you. Maybe you think it only comes through frustration or hard work or doing things that you don't want to do. And Source is saying there are literally infinite ways to make money on this planet. Infinite ways. More ways than you could ever think. You'd be surprised how most people make their money. You know, it doesn't always have to be through the path of, uh, resistance or hard work or struggle and some of you needing to reframe the way you think about how money flows money really is just energy it, it is a thought vibration it's it's no more real than anything else on this planet and everything on this planet is at the core of it energy and thought conscious vibration which means it's movable right and so they're wanting you to use your smarts to think uh, to eliminate I'm sorry uh, or think differently about how money flows to you and maybe even starting your day with a positive mantra that money always seems to show up okay money can come in different avenues I'm abundant with life and love money will come as a byproduct of that I know that I can relax. I know that I've been heard by the universe. Um, and I'm not saying like go out tomorrow and quit your job. I'm saying soothe your thoughts around it, especially if you've been feeling a lot of frustration or struggle in that arena. They're saying it's not that it's the job that's hard. It's the way you're choosing to look at it. If you could choose to look at it through gratitude, love, and appreciation, not only would the job environment change and improve to your liking, you would likely end up getting a promotion or a move or more money because you're showing gratitude towards it. Anything you show gratitude towards must grow. It's like the water you put on a plant. <laughs> That's what gratitude is to the universe. The water that you put in a plant is what helps it grow. When you give gratitude and you stay there, that is what helps whatever you're looking at grow. Wow. Okay. So that was a full reading before I even got any of the cards out. <laughs> so let's go into that space Scorpio and see what you have going on there, right? That's space for my Scorpios. All right. Four of Cups, Knight of Cups. Temperance. And the Hierophant. So again, you have the Hierophant out twice, right? Which also talks about, by the way, blessings, but relationships, okay? So, and then the Knight of Cups. So this is wanting more romance in your life, being open to um, having more fun when it comes to the love arena, to kind of trusting a little bit more Scorpio. Some of y'all may have felt like a little bit of emotional detachment uh, around relationships for whatever reason in the past. It could have felt like, especially if you were in a challenging relationship or commitment in the past or recent past, it could have been like your answer to that was just to kind of like push away from it or ignore it or detach from it. And that actually suited you, Scorpio, uh, because it did help like for, if nothing else, for you to remove your emotional attachment from something. Now, some of y'all may still be struggling with some sort of emotional attachment, but they're wanting you to, if that's the case, to take your focus away from that for now so that, you know, universe can kind of come in and do what it needs to do. So if you've been hyper fixated, maybe on a challenge uh, or a certain challenging relationship, right now they're asking you to pull your attention away from that and instead put your attention towards some of this new stuff that's coming in for you. Now, some of you have some new love here or new opportunities for love or just this renewed sense of love in your life, okay? Um, and I feel like this kind of propelling you forward here, Scorpio, and maybe more autonomy, more independence might feel really good to you right now. It's funny because I feel like there's like two different things going on here. There's like this part of you that kind of wants to be independent or autonomous. And then there's this other part of you that is lining up with a relationship or maybe isn't a relationship, but you want 
your freedom within it or somebody wants their freedom within it. It's like, can you have both? Can you balance both? And they're saying, well, if you're in alignment with yourself and you're coming from a loving space, you absolutely can have both. Um, but if you're not coming from that space and you're looking at what you don't like about a connection or a relationship, then no, then there has to be a compromise, right? So <clears throat> the compromises we make in relationships aren't really about the partner we're paired with. It's more so about the relationship with ourself and how easygoing are we? How loving are we, right? Because you only ever attract to you what is an equal match to the relationship you have with yourself. So they're also saying, Scorpio, prioritize the relationship that you have with yourself as well during this time frame. They're giving me a song, Show Me Love. They're saying, show yourself love, okay? And watch how that magically like influences those that are connected to you like it's almost like people who are connected to you energetically can feel when you're in a loving space versus when you're in an irritable space right I think most of us know that but like for real it, 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 it has a massive effect on the relationships you're experiencing um and that song wants to come through <laughs> Actually, that's a good song. Go look at that song. Show Me Love is the name of it. Um, they said, don't let me show cruelty for I may make mistakes. Don't let me show judgment for I may also hate. That's not the exact lyrics, but that's what's coming through. It's almost like show grace to other people because you might be guilty of doing the same thing either in the past or maybe at some point in the future. And they say, what you judge, you become. Because, and there's a law of attraction behind that. It's because what you give focus to is what you attract. If you're focused on judging another person, don't be surprised when you attract people who are judging you in return. It's almost like, okay, there's that message about connectedness. They're wanting you to see the connectedness, Scorpio, <laughs> between how you think about others and relationships and what you're getting back, like what feedback you're getting back from others. And they're wanting to say, like, think about it. Like really put the puzzle pieces together in your head. And the reason why that's useful to know is because you have a lot more control than you think um, as to what kind of feedback you get. Because it's all about what you're outputting, right? Yeah, I can hear the song clearly. Don't let me show cruelty, though I may make mistakes. Don't let me show jealousy because I know I can hate. Show me love. <laughs> and I'm hearing judge not for thou be judged. Well, again, that's lo just law of attraction. What you have focus on has focus on you. If you're focused in a negative way, then you cannot be mad at other people for being focused in that direction as well because you are the attractor of your experience. Wow, interesting message. <laughs> I mean, the cards are a great reference, but most of your message has come through just purely channeling. <laughs> so, um, All right, so Scorpio, the devil, the hanged man, the ten of cups, the three of swords... Yeah, don't let, listen, don't let your own self get in the way of your happiness, okay? Because here's the thing, Scorpio, I feel like when it comes to the relationship sector, a lot of the challenges that you face are self-imposed, meaning if you were to get ahead of your own emotional responses, you would be experiencing a much smoother vibration or much smoother experience, right? Now, I feel like for a lot of you, you're starting to become aware of this and kind of detach from things that really irritate you. And if you haven't detached, you need to detach from thinking about things that piss you off because all it does 
is piss you off, but it doesn't result in anything changing. <laughs> so, so if you could detach from those things that are irritable to you, okay, even if it's only for a small bit of time, it's like this love wants to come through here, okay, things lining up, emotional support. They want you to see relationships from a different perspective, from a different vantage point. They want you to focus on the people in your life or person in your life that brings you joy. And those that kind of irritate you, try to see the good traits in them and watch how you naturally release a lot of the tension in your body just simply by pivoting your thoughts around uh, the people in your life. But also, some of you have been self-imposing some pretty harsh judgments on yourself, you know, not really loving yourself, getting irritated with yourself, you know, um, and so they're also saying, well, show that grace to yourself as well, right? Like you're human and whatever's happened up until now, it doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter on a vibrational level. None of it matters. All that is, is he right here, right now. And you have the ability to see things from a different perspective and change the situation, right? And definitely change how you feel. Because some of you get stuck on the things that have hurt you, um, especially when it comes to uh, past relationships or commitments. And they're saying, don't let that change you, though, Scorpio. Like, don't let it change your loving heart. Don't let it change who you are. Because if, if someone else hurting you changes who you are into a hardened person or a harder person, then they have won. And are you really going to give them that win, Scorpio? I, I I doubt that you want to, right? Like, don't let others win by letting it influence you to the point that you stop being the beautiful, loving, amazing person that you are, right? That song is so clear. Don't let me show cruelty, though I may make mistakes. Show me love. All right, so wow. <laughs> this is a really deep reading. <laughs> Um, I, I don't, I hope this is making sense to you guys. All right. So nine of cups here, ace of wands. The four of wands. And one more. Woo. Okay. Two more. Four of pentacles. And there's the king of cups here. So this is the 10 of swords. Yeah, so Scorpio, it's almost like, too, when you can alleviate these emotional blockages or these thoughts that are not helping you, not only does it free you up in the love sector, it frees you up in the career and finance sector, the second house of assets, because it's all connected. And what is it all connected to? You, right? How in the flow are you? How not in the flow are you? Um, the more you're not in the flow, the more things go wrong. The more you're in the flow, the more things go right in all areas of your life. So it's almost like as you soothe your energy around this, right, the challenges begin to dissipate. The success starts rolling in. New ways to make money for some of you. Uh, new relationships for others of you. New passion. New things to be excited about. Uh, feeling more connected, right, Scorpio? And... <sighs> There's a sense of like finding your balance again on an emotional level, right? Feeling um, secure with who you are and where you stand on an emotional level. And, and as you get into that more secure place, it's like everything around you becomes more secure. <laughs> you know? So I, and I feel like you have good... Uh, friends here or, or at least some good people that want to help you here or or that maybe you just have an opportunity to have a little bit of fun as well right because this was a very serious reading they're also saying get out and have a little bit more fun all right get with your friends your folk your family whoever it is um and it's and and as you can have more fun by the way it also helps to soothe and release some of these things that you've had trouble moving away from that that seem very irritable or challenging to you right so they're saying focus on the good times give uh gratitude for the bad because they help to shape you into who you are now and who you are now is ever evolving and growing and to show yourself love 
So let's see what the law of attraction has to say then. Daisy, what you doing back there, girl? <laughs> She's sleepy. <laughs> All right, one law of attraction card for you. Oh, not mean to. I'm gonna take this one. Oh my gosh, this is what I literally said earlier. I said the law of attraction is your friend. And literally, can you read that? I don't know if you guys can read that. <clears throat> it says the law of attraction is the most powerful law and it is my friend. <laughs> <clears throat> you create with your every single thought by the universal law of attraction, that which is likened to itself is drawn. You are attracting the essence of whatever you are giving your attention to, whether you want it or not. So again, just a reminder, Scorpio, that your thoughts and how you think about yourself and how you think about life and how you think about other people is a powerful magnetic vibration that draws into you everything you experience in your life whether it's wanted or not wanted right so pay attention and choose your thoughts wisely so wow what an intense reading oh my gosh always with you scorpio all right so um zodiac signs you might be dealing with or have in your own chart um i have taurus twice out here sagittarius taurus again Capricorn, uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. <clears throat> Those are the predominant signs that I'm seeing. And I felt Leo energy. I don't know why, but um, take it or leave it. You could be connecting with any of those or have any of those in your chart, or they just may be the influencing vibes around the situation. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Make sure you check me out on Facebook, guys. I have an event coming up on Saturday at 1 p.m. It's a virtual live event. Uh, where you can buy a ticket for $9.99 and come talk with me. So I'm going to be talking and teaching you how to tap into and strengthen your intuition as well as how to connect with your guides. If you're interested, check it out. My Facebook is linked down below um, as well as my Instagram. So you can follow me on either of those platforms. And if you'd like to donate to the channel, you can do so in the about section. Otherwise, I'm wishing you guys a beautiful, beautiful day and nothing but the best. Till next time. Namaste. Bye.